Welcome back to Junker Clunkers. I am Grady, your host, as normal. Today's video, we've got Mom's new Focus up on the lift. She needs some work, guys. Uh, I picked it up pretty cheap. I know that my mother loves these cars, so that's why I got it, as opposed to another vehicle. Um, it needs work, but it's not super duper terrible. It needs rocker panels, <clears throat> which we have coming. Um, also, pretty common, at least up here in, in the Northeast, uh, is, I don't know what they call it, a tail pan, or a, I don't know what they call it, but it's it's the plate behind the bumper. That, for some reason, holds uh, moisture and salt and shit. And, well, it rots out, so we're going to have to fabricate something there. Um, the exhaust system is okay, but I'm going to swap it out with the total, hopefully, the, the, the total uh focus interior on this is pretty good we might swap out so she has her heated seats um, we do have a very 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 loose uh, lower control arm which we have a new one sitting over on the floor over there uh, we've got oil and filter and then we got a power steering pump and then we got to swap out the rims and tires off the total focus hey guys we got a lot of stuff to do so let's get at it You guys could see this look how bad that is now I don't know if there's any other kind of play all I feel is lower uh, so let's get it taking this tire off it's gonna be a 19 here oh my 19's missing of course why would I have a 19 I have a bunch of them somewhere. Three quarters. Three quarters seems like she'll work. hubcaps we got going on here look at those pieces of crap those will not go back on this vehicle you want them let me know oh you can see the tires are junk too oh. my mother's a little concerned this needs brakes brake pads look almost new Actually, they're in pretty good shape. Everything looks pretty decent. I mean, for the price I paid for this car, guys, it's it's amazing that this vehicle is in such good shape, you know? And the good thing about oil leaks is that you have free undercoating, you know? <laughs> All right, so first thing we got to do is unbolt. It feels like it is a 13, maybe? What's this? Oh wait, this is... I didn't plan that at all. Just a regular ratchet, just sitting around. Come on, that's hilarious. Car. 
cars. Got the heat on at the shop here. It's kind of chilly up here today. Wait here, Shelby. Woof, 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 woof. Think she was a bit rusty, guys? She did not want to come out. Kept stripping that end. Kept stripping that end. We don't have to worry about that again, I don't, I don't imagine. See what we find a pickle fork in here. This mess of crap I got. Hey, Deep Creep. Still waiting for your sponsor. Best stuff right there. Love it. Boom. You tell me. Think she was tired? <laughs> Done so. It's kind of the only bad thing about this one. It's a sealed unit. You can't grease it. Well. Make sure, make sure there's no standing dirt and crap where they sit. Get it back into place. guys uh, uh i don't know what the hell that was we lost power for a minute and then power was restored but then you hear this noise i don't know i don't know what it was all i know is we gotta get this crap down let's throw the wheel back on and uh see if we got any movement <clears throat> Now these wheels are not going to be permanent. They are just right now for ow. Be careful. Damn thing's got wire showing. That kind of hurt. They're just to uh, roll it around and such because we got almost brand new tires on mom's total car out back. We are going to have to put a CV axle on this. When we tear that one apart, we'll uh, we'll get to that. This one's just barely throwing any grease, so it's okay for now. Uh, it's not like it's throwing it on the on the brakes or anything. It's just a little bit. It's just a little bit on uh, on the strut. Nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Brakes are a little noisy. All right, that part is done. Let's uh, let's try the oil next, huh? Let's see how gross that stuff is. Let me get set up. Bring it back. All right, guys. Underneath here. 13 green plug loosen it up let's grab the pan so we don't make too much of a mess yeah right any guesses any guesses i'm guessing really dark what in the hell 
Okay. So this is not a turbo, but anytime a filter sticks up like that, I like to try and fill it a smidge so it's a little less harsh on the motor when it starts up, you know? So people tell you, yeah, do it, don't do it, blah, blah, blah. Now this is just what I do. You ain't got to do it, but it's what I do. I need some shop towels in there. Here's a very important thing. If you're working on automotive stuff, there's fluids in here that you don't want getting dumped outside. Uh, you know, animals will eat them. It's bad for the environment. Oil is one of those. So what I do is after I spill a whole bunch on my garage floor, you know, I take and I put it in a five gallon pail and I'll bring it down to AutoZone or O'Reilly's or uh, Valvoline, places like that, that, uh, that take used oil and uh, they dispose of it for free. You have to contact them to figure out how much you're allowed and when to do it. I don't know all those, those things, so you have to do a little bit of work yourself, but I got you halfway there. Hey guys, if you do spill like an idiot like me, make sure you clean it up with some awesome super clean or something competitive to like it, which there is nothing like it. So go get some super clean. This is actually my first time using this, this particular absorbent speedy dry stuff. I'm sure it's not going to be my last. Well, that actually, <laughs> that's a lot quicker than when you get down at AutoZone. Sorry, AutoZone. Wow. Good stuff right there. Go pick some up. All right, guys. Let's get it down. Let's get the new oil in it. And, uh, yeah. Let's just get some more stuff done. Even though I'm the only one in the shop, I still say it. You never know. Do, do, do. I'm going to hammer this in. That was not playing nice. It kept getting me. So, normally, when I go to do the oil change, I know I'm going to do the oil change ahead of time. I'll take the cap off and I'll put it right here. Just simply because if you go to shut that hood and you're like, why is the cap? Oh, that's right. I didn't add any oil. That's what I do. I learned that from, uh, I'm not going to say where, but an old employer. Let's see if I can Bluetooth this. Probably not. Probably going to make a mess. Whoa. Yep. Spilled a good amount. I'll just, uh, just wipe that a little bit. But it'll, it'll be, it'll be fine, guys. Fire in a hole. Good to go.
<laughs> I kind of show this to you guys. Usually it's kind of hard to find a power steering leak. I don't know if you guys ever had that. They're just like caked, oil caked on for forever. <clears throat> forever, sorry. But I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, I guess you really can't see it. Well, on the back side here, here we go. It's just pouring out of there. So there's a bad seal or something in this pump. It is just a pouring out of there. So we know we need a pump. So let's replace the pump, guys. All right, guys. Uh, so as you've seen, we need to get this power steering pump out of there. We need to do set you up and not put oil in it I mean <laughs> that's a huge <laughs> don't know how to explain that one what she's always laughing at me so what we got to do is we got to fill this up Fill it up slowly so you don't make a mess like I'm probably going to. Whoop, almost. I'll give that a second, see if that goes down. So this is what's gonna happen is you don't wanna fill it like I did because now it's making a mess on the floor. Hey, let's put the bucket under it. But you want to fill your reservoir and have the front end raised and you want to go all the way left, all the way right. You want to do this a bunch of times, like a kajillion and a half times. You want to make sure that your reservoir is full and you just keep doing this. You're bleeding all the air out of the system. You do not want to start your vehicle until you've got all the air out of this. Because you can blow the power steering pump again, the rack lines it can happen and it will happen so either listen or don't you guys get the gist okay all right Brittany okay. start it oh god are you sure nope but go Noises. Massively weird noises. <laughs> I don't see anything leaking out of anywhere. 
fitting looks dry. The turn hose looks dry. Boy, George, we might have done it. I think we done did it. All right. I'm going to call that one a win. On to the next project. All right, guys. So now we're on this side, and we're going to be taking out the strut and the sway bar link. And the first step we need to do is take off the tire. That's all right. So now we have to spray some penetrating oil on it. And we got our favorite stuff right here, Deep Creep. We're not sponsored, but we're willing to be sponsored. Because this is where the, the bolt will come out of. In the lower that back side. Okay. Okay, now we gotta take out our clip for our brake hose. So, what you're just gonna do is grab onto this little metal piece right here and wiggle it side to side until it comes free. Come on. Don't be a pain in the butt. There we go. See, now that we got that off, we're going to disconnect the line. There we go. This is your ABS sensor right here, and you need to make sure that that's disconnected. So you're going to want to wiggle that right off there. So now we're going to take off the sway bar link, and we're going to... And sometimes you have to use vice grips to stop it from spinning. Yeah. Sometimes you have to use a little bit of brute force when stuff ain't working out for you. There we go. Okay, so there's an 18 over here that you're going to have to take off as well. It's, it's rusted in there. They're probably original. Sometimes you gotta work them. We got a bolt that don't want to come out, so we're gonna be heating out. Sometimes you have to use a little bit of heat on these rusty bolts. Now you need to separate your strut from your hub. Is it just gonna drop? Now we just have to unscrew the top part. Tell me one. So there's three bolts. You can have a second person help you with it, but you don't have to. You can do it yourself. When you're using an electric ratchet, you always want to start the bolt manually if you if you can. Jack! What? Jack! What? Jack! Hi. Right. You guys will see. see? There it is. And then you just start it with one nut. Just get that one on so it's at least holding. And then, then Brent can. Then you put the other two nuts on. Brent can go ahead and put those two on. You need to put the two nuts on. You want to use a regular ratchet, no power tools, or else stuff went badly. Because it's easy to strip out those struts. So now after fighting with that strut for a bit, we finally got it in. Say that. Now what? 
you put this right, you wiggle this back on in there. The clip? Yep, the brake line clip. So it's uh, worth mentioning there's a little slit in the back of that 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 clip goes down into. Brent told me about that off camera. Sure. Yeah, I see it, Brent. I understand. Yep. And then you want me to just hit that, tap yep. that in? Yep, and then it'll go right in and oh. place. And then it'll hold your brake line in on there. You are a genius, son. Yep. You are a genius. So now you're going to take the nuts off. Then there's one on top. And one on bottom, and then you want to put the bracket right here on just like that. You know a lot of stuff for being only 14, sure. buddy. Where'd you learn all your knowledge? Um, classified. Classified information. He's never been able to tell me. But this kid can out mechanic me. It's crazy. There. Keep saying. <clears throat> there. I like to check my work when it's finished. I know the three bolts on top are all tightened. What about these ones? Those ones we just finished tightening and we double yep. checked the So we know the out. clip is in too. Yep, we know. We didn't touch in. anything else. Yep. So Brent is such a great mechanic. He's even offered to go get the tire off in the Wait, old what? the old crashed up car. What? What a good boy. Man, I tell you, they don't make them like this. They just don't make them like this. So let's go out and let's go watch Brent take that tire off this one. you another number this week that other number is going to be seven make sure you comment that as you got it last week's number this week's number together in the comments below to win the super clean giveaway Seems nice and tight, son. Yeah. So, that's both sides done. Now we got motor mouths we gotta start putting in. We're gonna go take lunch. We'll get back at you very shortly. All right, guys. So, next thing we gotta work on is uh, when you start this vehicle, it shakes. 
pretty good. Like you can hear it inside, like vibration. It's kind of hard to understand. I well, not understand. It's kind of hard to explain it. Uh, but I know that it's going to be the motor mounts. We got one that lives here, one that lives in this area, and then one that lives in this area, but underneath. And uh, we went to eBay. Not sponsored, willing to be eBay Motors, eBay anything. You wanna, you wanna sponsor us? Let us know. Uh, I'm gonna try and go in the cab of the vehicle so you can actually hear how it rattles. And uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can make that happen. All right. So let's see if you guys can hear this. It, it might not happen, but. can't feel feel the vibration maybe you can hear it a little bit that's what we're trying to get rid of so hopefully you can hear hopefully you can hear it look at that power steering works Brakes are nice and tight. I don't know how to shut off this windshield washer. Hmm. So, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and start uh, replacing those motor mounts. All right, guys. So the first motor mount lives in this area right here. We're going to have to take this coolant bottle out of the way. Shouldn't be too hard. Haven't done this this motor mount or these motor mounts before. But uh, it doesn't look too hard. There we go. them back together. Now we can clip this back in. So now we gotta move on to the next one. All right guys, uh, we're gonna go on to another one here. And once again, I've never done these, so you're learning as I'm learning. Let's see if we can figure out. Oh, my light died on me, guys. Sign up on beasting. We're going to have to get this battery out of here. Which is good. And it's a die hard. Not a sponsor, but willing to be. It's a die hard battery? It's a die hard battery. Like the movies? Yes, like the movie. Truth be told, I, I wasn't thinking that was coming out. Okay. This one doesn't look too god awful. Oh, never mind. It's split right here. What? This one. The bolt or the socket? The old mount. Oh, that might be the problem then. I think that's a problem. I don't know if it's the one, but it is it. Yeah. Put that back down on.
We might be in trouble on this one. Uh oh, what's wrong? I need an impact. Or I need a different ratchet, I don't know. Hope the hell we don't break this. So you're starting to heat up? As you guys can see, that thing is fused. That's supposed to sit in there. That thing is fused into this. There was no getting that out. Providing that. Well, guys, thank goodness we got the parts rig out front. Otherwise, we would have had to go and find that particular bolt, which probably wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but it would have been annoying. But we've, we've got the old one out. Get all some of this rubber out of here. Look at the piles of rubber that, that just fell apart and made into dust. <laughs> yep. What have you done? I love you too, son. Let this be a lesson for you though. Determination. Can go a long way or what well if you give up you won't ever get anywhere literally that's not that's not a cheesy metaphor or anything that's a hundred percent if you just said no I'm done and, and walked away you would literally get absolutely nowhere Exactly. But, if you keep working through it, no matter how freaking shitty it is, no matter how shitty, sooner or later, Sooner or later, it works. You, per you persevere. Persevere. All right, let's uh, clip tools. Go up and see if she uh, sounds any better. If it's rattly or what, what was done before. All right, guys, we are in the cab of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and start it for the first time, see if that noise went away. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It sounds better. Sounds like it might have an exhaust leak. That's crazy. No more vibrating. Nice and smooth. No vibration. Very nice.
We are gonna have to work on the exhaust at some point. It's not a super leak, but we will have to work on that. I believe that we did the job that we were asked to do on this one. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. You can see mom's focus is coming together finally. Uh, I know this isn't what everybody really wants to watch. Everybody wants to watch this Mustang. Uh, it is the next project in line. It is 100% the next project in line. Um, we've got the mechanical part of this all set, as you see. There's no shakes. The steering's all correct. Oil change is done. Um, that rear bumper structure's done. The only thing I got left now, guys, is the rocker panels. That's going to be the next video coming out. Uh, rocker panels on this. At least I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be. So, um, stick with me just a little bit longer. This Mustang is the next project in line. 100%. I promise. If, if it's not, I'm going to quit the channel. Because the whole reason that we've been talking about this is... I, I want to drive the 66 really soon. You know, 66 Mustang. But unfortunately, you know, mom needed a vehicle. She doesn't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money to buy a really nice vehicle, so I have to buy a piece of crap and make it something. You can see Brent, hey, he he really helped out today. He stepped up and he taught me a lot of things. I really appreciate that, son. <laughs> so check us out on uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all those platforms. And uh, any personal message you want to send, send it over to Junker Clunkers. At Yahoo, sorry. It's like 8.30 at night. We're kind of tired. Um, yeah. Anything to say here? Oldest boy's calling in. We're going to go answer the phone. Have yourself a good one, guys. Thanks for tuning in.